Ah, welcome, Yakwashes, to a special seasonal edition of the Yak's Type-In Abominations. In the true spirit of Christmas specials, this is being recorded in the middle of June. The sun is blurring through the window, and the birds are tweeting the tweets on Twitter or something. But don't let the cold weather outside your window get you down. Because there is Breakout, otherwise known as Bust Out, in this version, this type-in cheapo budget brand version. Oh, and look at that, I'm already dying a horrible death here in one of the simplest games ever. Some years ago, I actually coded a version of Breakout in Flash, and it turned out alright for what it was. Half the code was stolen because... As you know, I'm not necessarily a coding whiz, but I did most of the aesthetics and a great majority of the coding. He lied. Yeah, most of it was pinched, but... I did a whiteboard version of Pong and Breakout. In fact, somewhere on the internet you can still have a go at those. <laughs> Although, unfortunately, they only work in Internet Explorer. Yeah, that's showing the age of that now. Back in the days when you only coded things for one browser. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try and clear this thing, because at this speed, it's going to take forever. So instead, I shall move on to another game. Ooh, exciting. I wonder what on earth it could be. Hello there. Fancy a game of Whiff Whiff? Ah, ha ha. No, I'd much rather have a game of ping pong. As you may know, it was recently the anniversary of Atari's classic Pong. And this is nothing like the Atari classic Pong. So happy birthday to Pong, but this isn't really a very good conversion because it is extremely slow. Well, you've got to take into- Yes, I've got a point! <laughs> You've got to take into account the fact that this was coded in BASIC. And it is rather hard to code very good games in BASIC. So I suppose, on that basis, this is rather good. And I use that term loosely because there's many more things I'd rather be doing than playing this right now. Like playing the original Pong, which I don't think anybody's really improved on since they brought it out. If anything, this is a backward step. Yes, another point! Although I'm not necessarily taking the mick out of the person who coded this, good on ya. It's just that it's a lot easier to go and steal the flash coding and then change the aesthetics for yourself, as I did. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh dear, I've just lost a point. Well, basically, you get 10 points if you knock the ball past the other bloke. <laughs> bloke. Another term to be used loosely, because it's just two lines. Does that represent a person? A very thin person. <sighs> Hold on a minute. I didn't get my points there. What's going on? This game is flawed. I'm going to break your coding for that. Telly 10 is 6128, copyright Amsoft. Ah, there's quite a lot of lines here, considering it's Pong, one of the simplest games of all time. Wow, we getting close to 100 lines there. Well, that's it for this mini Christmas special of Type In to Sender. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I sincerely hope you enjoy this Christmas period. Please stay indoors. And please play video games, because I don't want to be responsible for anybody going out there and getting frostbite. So, stick on the heating, load up your original Atari, and get playing Pong. Or I suppose you could play Gran Turismo 5 on the PS3. Whichever suits you better. Merry Christmas!